Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center, coming at you from the case booth at Blade Show 2022, here to take a look at some new things with our good friend Maury. Hey David, I'm glad you guys stopped by. I know you're busy, man. You oh, guys, I've seen you all over this show, so that's great. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, just bouncing back and yeah. forth. Man. You need to be duplicated a little bit in this show to cover everything. <laughs> no, no, it's one and only. One uh, there and you only. go, there you go. <laughs> the one and only, that's right. Yeah. Well, what do we have to uh, take a look at today, So at, at Blade Show, you know, we've been like a lot of manufacturers, we've been behind in production. So we've kind of mm -hmm reeled it in a little bit on our slip joints mm -hmm. uh, and somebody asked me earlier oh i see you're trending towards some modern so we're not trending we're expanding but at the blade show because this is such a kind of a, a, a knife enthusiast show mm -hmm. and you're talking when i say that i don't mean the slip joints they're here too yeah yeah uh, but they love what we've got with new metals with new steels with expanding at the knife of the year from last year mm -hmm. you know we were mm -hmm. fortunate oh thank way. you very yeah. much yeah. uh you got first look at that. You, yeah. you gave us some pretty good props. So when we won, I was like, that's validating. But I think your validation might have been a little better. No, no, no. Uh, so it's awesome. So we're expanding that. You know, the Marilla was our knife of the year last year. Yes. So we had that and we're expanding the color in that. Uh, it's so good looking we're going to do a couple of it's anodized aluminum. So we're doing kind of a dark orange. I'm a Tennessee fan. I was hoping for something a little brighter. <laughs> but uh, I tell you, I, that's become probably my new favorite color in this series. Well, uh, I, I like that it's. It's not like a blaze orange. Right. It's got right. a, you know, because I, I kind of shy away from some of that sort right. of thing. Right. But I could see myself carrying this color. Yeah, it, it is. It's kind of softly stated, but it's it's yeah. really cool. And, yeah. you know, uh, and I don't know if it's because of the case enthusiast, but, you know, we thought the black was going to just really, really outpace the blue and the red when we mm -hmm. introduced it. Um, it. It was probably equal and continues to be equal. Mm -hmm. So I think from case... It doesn't have to be a black knife, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. everybody would say that. But. Well, I'm always excited to see more colors because yes, I, I pick up so many black yeah. knives every day. Yes, there's a bunch yeah. and they're great, but yeah. uh, we're also doing uh, our version of a dark earth. Uh, and that's going to be in, again, in that Murillo. Anything that you see, you're going to see them in also in the Kinzu. Okay. And you remember at that SHOT Show, we introduced uh, what we were calling the spear point is probably more of a drop point. Uh, so we've got also we've got the Tonto blade and we have the spear point yeah. uh, in the Kinzu. So you're going to see these colors in all three versions, uh, the Murillo and then the two of the, of the Kinzu. So. And that's that's honestly like we've seeing many knives out there. That kind of a brown can sometimes be hard to hit yeah. consistently on an aluminum. And I, I dig the color. Well, I tell you, from our engineering and innovation team, it's still hard to hit. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how even in the same batch you can get two colors that yeah. are, that are yeah. different. But, but when uh, it comes out right, man. Yeah, it's fantastic. Excellent. Some of the other cool things you're going to see, David, we are uh, we're working on, you know, one of the things, and I think you like the Kinzu better on the handle grip because it didn't have the inlay. You said, I'm not really an inlay guy. Uh, yeah, so, I, I appreciated kind of the uh, the more stylistic, yeah. stylistic aspects of it, too. So yeah. part of what we're doing is a little cross-hatching on that, just to texturize that just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it just gives you a little more grip, but you're not we're not adding anything to the handle. So uh, we're going to come out with that in a couple of handle materials, uh, probably just in black uh, in our Kinzu, and um, just see how that goes. Obviously, you're not doing that in the Marilla because it's already got a G10 it's got the inlay. inlay already. Um, and it's, it's not aggressively sharp either in the right. hand. It's not. It gives you the grip, but it's not going to tear you up, I yes, don't sir. think. So it's yeah, it's good. We're excited about that. Um, we're testing some new steels. You know, I told you last year, S35 for us was like, man, we have uh, we have really stepped out. <laughs> uh, but through some of our equipment, we realized that we can do other steels. So we've got a, a CPM 20 CV. Um, and again, I'm lear I'm learning a lot. You guys are, are teaching us a lot. I think I I quizzed David in the hallway yesterday. It's like David, okay, we're launching CPM 20. Uh, I need to know S35 CPM. And I think yours was blade retention. So <laughs> more edge retention, less toughness. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, you know, these performance steels, it's real exciting yeah. for us, but we're, we're learning a lot. We're excited to see, you know, what we're finding is it's not indifferent than our case patterns. Mm -hmm. You have people that are hardcore CPM 20s. You've got S35. You've got mm -hmm. all these other great performance steels. Um, so a lot of it is personal preference. Yeah. And there absolutely. are characteristics with each. but And there, there are reasons to choose one over yes, the sir. other, too. Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. that that part we're really excited about. So you're going to see some of these things start to evolve. The, most of these will start hitting the market in August, September, October. Um, but by the fourth quarter, we'll have all of these things available. Um, saw Jason earlier, so we're like, we got to get all this on your website, yeah. so you guys can. Yeah. You know, I know they pre-order or they at least uh, get notified when things come in. So yeah. Uh, so that part Ooh, will very be nice. That cool. part will be great. Cool to see you not uh, not taking the slow road, so to speak. Right. Like you're. And it's, yeah. you know, for us, we're a 133-year-old company. Uh, we don't move really quick on anything, but but we are really stepping up our innovation. Yeah. Also, this, this is quick for case, I it, feel it, like. Yeah. yeah. 
It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. It, it is. Absolutely. Which kudos to you. Seriously. Yeah. Right? Well, thank you. Like, you know, you're, you. you're listening to folks and going, hey, what if we do this? What if, what if we try this? Let's, let's mix it up a little Gotta bit. I love it. Um, one of the other things that we're really excited about here, and I, I was telling you about this a little bit earlier. So we're launching our, uh, uh, what we call a canvas line. And this is a line that, that we're excited about because it really, it really utilizes some Zippo technology. Mm -hmm. You know, we're owned by Zippo, a great American company celebrating their 90th anniversary this year. Uh, but Zippo is world class in embellishing. So we were I able say so. yes. through several years of work, uh, build a brass casing and these all start as a brass casing okay. uh, with the inner liner of a single bladed trapper. Yeah, because I was wondering about that because you don't see the back spray right. or anything there. It, you know, it all, actually just, we were gonna, I don't know if I should say this on camera, but I will. We were gonna call this the boat originally because it kind of it kind of slid in there. It's set in the boat. It's like a canoe or something. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but it's the canvas. Uh, but, and then what we do is we decorate it. We can utilize Zippo technology mm -hmm. with color imaging, deep etching, uh, powder coating. That's got a translucent powder coat. Uh, we've Looks got really things. Cool. You're gonna see some things that may be uh, a little shocking on some things for Case. We were able to utilize some Zippo designs. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But then you're gonna see some things that you expect to see from Case, like I mean, that, that just looks like Isn't that elegant? A, a perfectly hand embellished yes. knife, yeah. knife side. Uh, very elegant yeah. and, and very patriotic in a lot of these, but we call it canvas because it's all about expressing yourself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. we want whatever is important to you, whatever maybe you may be into, uh, there's gonna, we've got 20 versions that we're gonna launch in our initial test and we're gonna kind of get some feedback. So all, all in the uh, single blade trapper uh, like yes, so? Sir. Yep, Very all of cool. it will be the same style, uh, different color handles, different things there. But, um, you know, always appreciate, your folks are great about leaving comments and, you know, good or bad, we like to hear them all, but mm -hmm. love to hear kind of what you think about this. Uh, it does allow us to utilize some of that technology. A case knife, all knives are personal. A case knife can be extremely personal, mm -hmm. whether it's a gift to someone or whether it represents your person. Or an and, heirloom yeah. or any of that. Yeah. And maybe it's you're celebrating something with someone, you're going on a trip. Uh, this is a way to do that. And it gives you a lot of options to do that as well. So um, very cool. So the case canvas, limited release. Uh, it'll start shipping in June. So it'll start shipping soon. Uh, it should be on your website. And then we'll have, I don't know, it's gonna be a short production run. So there'll only be a few hundred of each initially. Mm -hmm. And then we'll kind of regroup and figure out figure what people out like, yeah. what they like, and uh, and how quick we need to get this thing to market in a, in a big way. So Excellent. For that. Excellent. Um, the last thing, it's kind of a, a, a big deal. I know at SHOT Show, we talked about our new, our new vault pattern. That's all great. But one of the things that is super exciting for us and very appropriate for the Blade Show is we are launching our last um, collaboration with the magnificent Hall of Fame, Tony Bose. The, the final uh, one. The, the final oh, one. Wow, uh, wow. You know, those things were in the works years in advance. So mm -hmm. this was the last one that Tony worked on. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of collaborating with Reese now to make sure that, hey, did we get it right? Would, is Tony going to come back and, uh, you know. Give us problems. I, I was going to say, <laughs> I, I promise you, Tony Bose would figure out a way to send a message. Uh, <laughs> so we're making sure that these are right. These are our custom collaborations at 154 CM. It's got those. Uh, stainless steel bolsters, that brush finish, yeah, beautiful knife. Um, I was asking Reese yesterday because he was here for a little bit at the Blade Show, and I said, Reese, tell me about this pattern. He said, Dad loved a toothpick. He said, I yeah. love a toothpick. Yeah. He said it's. Uh, he was very complimentary of it. I uh, really liked it. So we're gonna have this in a lot of different handles. This is where we make a thousand pieces in total, and we sure. make these special. They're all wire cut parts. Um, just beautiful knives. We'll have an abalone, a bone stag, a couple of bone. We'll do ebony because that's signature Tony Bowes, of course. and yeah, we'll yeah. do a, a, a black canvas laminate too. So, and this may just be my ignorance talking about. I don't know if I've ever seen a toothpick that big before. That's a big one. Yeah, it is it's a, a, a big one. We <laughs> call it a modified medium toothpick. I'm like, if somebody said, I would just call it a big toothpick. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. It's it's a large size, you know, and in a lot of hours we make the small, we make the the medium, um, but those are cool, and, and we're calling that the old dog. Folks that knew Tony, folks who were around Tony, that was his nickname, is the yeah, old dog. So yeah. we thought, man, as the final, as kind of the final crescendo to our collaboration series, we're going to call this one the yeah. old dog. And uh, such an elegant one to kind of go yes, out on too. Yes. Man. So it's it's good, and those will be coming out this fall too. So most everything that we've got here new, uh, we're within the canvas is going to be within weeks. The other is probably going to be within a few months. But uh, Excellent. Excellent. you know, it's it, it's fun. It's fun to watch. It's fun to honor Tony. It's fun to see some of the innovation side. Um, it, it's just kind of fun to do what we do, right? Wouldn't trade it for anything. Wouldn't trade it for anything. <laughs> so. 
Awesome. Um, and that's kind of a recap of kind of our, our highlights, our best mm -hmm. highlights. Um, you know, I always tell people when they're in the booth, they're looking at all this, I'm like, rest assured, this fall, we've got a full line of slip joints coming out that are gonna be over the top. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we've, we've kind of pushed back some of our new releases in the spring and summer, uh, making sure that we could catch up in production and get ready to go into that all important third and fourth quarter. So. Um, if you like what you see, fantastic. If you're worried that what happened to my trappers, where's my stockmans, where's <laughs> they my haven't gone anywhere. Buster, they're not going anywhere and they'll Th be a all Thomas anywhere. would have to do is just pan the camera over here. Yeah, not, there's tons anywhere. of these in the booth. Yeah, <laughs> we are still case knives that yeah. you know and love. But, uh, but hey, we're uh, we're learning. Awesome. We're learning. So Excellent. David, thanks again for your time. Thank it's you. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, that's all we've got for now. But like you said, keep sticking around for more of that stuff. In the meantime, we'll leave a link in the description box below this video to point to our Case Knives page over at the Knife Center, where you can see what's there now and keep an eye there as this stuff sort of comes in. Yeah. Might have it up for pre-order before it's actually in stock too. It's always a nice thing. Yeah. And of course, keep sticking around for more Blade Show coverage. David, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you very All much. Right.